Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good evening, Eastern Iowa. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Danny Cassidy. Well, this afternoon we saw a little bit of sunshine in our central and eastern areas, and it really showed for our high temperatures. The areas that saw that sunshine, you can see low 40s, close to 50 in Washington. Then for our central and western areas, it just wasn't enough or the sun didn't even show up. Waterloo is usually one of the warmest spots. It was actually tied for the second coolest spot at 38 degrees with Cedar Rapids. Oldwine the lowest at 36 in Decorah. Very cool town itself, don't get me wrong, but usually it's one of the coolest temperature wise in terms of high temperatures across the area, but they were one of the warmest at 43, the second warmest in fact. Now, again, the culprit of that is an unusual system moving in from east to west, as usually in the northern hemisphere, it's from west to east. But that easterly flow is going to continue tonight. Winds will be right around probably 5 to 10, maybe up to 15 at times, and similar will be said during the day tomorrow. But the, what's going to happen here is from that easterly flow turning more northeast is a high pressure moving in, clearing out more of that cloud cover and helping us see more sunshine tomorrow, but especially Monday and Tuesday. Now, future track. Again, this depicts kind of more low and high cloud cover. The low cloud cover is moving out, but high cloud cover from the west is going to be moving through during the night tonight. And with those lighter winds at times, we'll see the chance of some fog developing. Now, most of it, I think, is going to be out of the area. It's almost like a hole punch for eastern Iowa. Not a ton here. Could be some patchy fog for sure, but most of it will be east, kind of where that cloud cover isn't. And then off to the west where there's a little bit more moisture, we're kind of in that in between zone. So again, patchy fog could be a possibility for us tonight, but I think most of it will stay off to the east and then to the west as well. But along the Mississippi River Valley too, we could see some fog per usual due to that kind of moisture along the river. That will burn off by about noon. And then again, depending on the sunshine, we'll see temperatures in the mid 40s. Again, I think it could be similar to where our eastern areas are a little bit warmer than our western areas due to that cloud cover. But all in all, I think we'll see more sunshine tomorrow, widespread at least, than we did today. So for tonight, low temperatures, and still well above normal. Our normal low is 12 degrees and we'll be in the upper 20s and low 30s. Mostly cloudy skies with a little bit of patchy fog. Then during the day tomorrow, high temperatures. Again, depending on that sunshine, if things are a little bit more cloudy, we could be a couple degrees cooler. But mid to upper 40s, and I think Washington, especially if that sunshine peaks through, we'll get to 50. Winds out of the northeast at 5 to 15. Your city by city forecast for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. So again, setting us up for more sunshine Monday and Tuesday as high pressure moves in. And then Wednesday and Thursday, we could be in the mid to upper 50s with some strong southerly flow. So our next best chance of rain, and it's just going to be that rain, is on Thursday into the morning hours on Friday. We'll be a, little, a lot more isolated on Friday. And then as we head into the second full week of February, again, still not looking too bad with highs in the low 40s.